The James Webb Space Telescope discovered a galaxy named Zhulong. Thus isn't just any distant galaxy. It's a near twin of our Milky Way, complete with swirling spiral arms, a central bulge, and a massive disk of stars. And yet, it existed when the universe was barely 1 billion years old. In this video, we'll understand more what Zhulong is, why it's so shocking, how it challenges existing theories, and what this could mean for the future of cosmic exploration. During a wide area survey known as panoramic, conducted using Webb's pure parallel imaging mode, astronomers stumbled upon Zulong, a galaxy that changed everything. The panoramic survey is a clever method where Webb collects deep sky images while its main instruments observe other targets, allowing researchers to gather a vast amount of high quality data efficiently. It was through this detailed imaging that Zulong was spotted. The galaxy structure immediately caught astronomers' attention. It displayed clear, well-formed spiral arms radiating from a prominent central bulge, a site that shouldn't exist in such a young universe. According to Dr. Mengyuan Xiao of the University of Geneva, who led the study, Zhulong's disk spans over 60,000 light years, comparable to the Milky Way and contains more than 100 billion solar masses in stars. These are not minor features. They are signatures of maturity, features that standard cosmological models suggest should have taken billions of years to develop. Observed at a redshift of 5.2, this places it roughly 12 billion light years away, corresponding to just about 1 billion years after the Big Bang. To find such a massive, organized and mature galaxy at that epoch defies the long-held belief that early galaxies were small, chaotic, and irregular. In fact, most expectations were that young galaxies would be turbulent messes of star formation without the grand design we see in structures like our Milky Way. The name Zhulong itself derived from Chinese mythology meaning torch dragon, which reflects its significance. In mythology, the torch dragon controlled the cycles of day and night by opening and closing its eye. However, the discovery of Zhulong is forcing scientists to rethink that entire timeline. If a galaxy like this, so big and well organized, could form just a billion years after the Big Bang, it suggests that the processes behind galaxy building might be much faster and much more efficient than anyone expected massive, orderly galaxies may have started appearing not billions of years later, but surprisingly early, right out of the cosmic dark ages. One idea researchers have proposed is that the early universe might have been better at making galaxies quickly. In particular, dark matter, the invisible material that acts like the scaffolding of the universe, may have clumped together more strongly than models predicted. Around this dark matter, Normal matter, what scientists call baryonic matter, which is just a fancy word for the stuff that makes up stars, planets, gas, and everything we can actually see, could have gathered faster and in bigger amounts. In short, dark matter could have acted like a giant gravitational magnet, helping normal matter pile up and form massive galaxies much earlier than we thought. There's another possibility too. The gas in the early universe might have been cooler or turned into stars more easily, making it quicker to build up huge, structured galaxies. Cooler gas tends to clump together faster, giving birth to stars and forming dense, organized systems like spiral galaxies. On top of all this, this galaxy raises new questions about feedback mechanisms. Scientists used to think that violent events like supernova explosions and the fierce winds from black holes, called active galactic nuclei, would blast apart gas and slow down galaxy growth. But if Gulong formed so early and stayed so well organized, maybe these destructive forces weren't as strong in the early universe as scientists believed. That would have given galaxies more time to grow, settle, and form beautiful spiral shapes, even when the universe was still young.
astronomers are now connecting the dots between Zhulong and a growing family of massive galaxies uncovered by the James Webb Space Telescope. Galaxies that should not have existed so soon after the Big Bang. In addition to Zhulong, Webb has spotted other impossible galaxies that appear far too massive, too organized, and too mature for their cosmic age. In early 2024, Webb detected a handful of galaxies at redshifts greater than six, meaning they formed just 500 to 800 million years after the Big Bang. Yet some of them rival the Milky Way in mass and structure. Galaxies like CEERS 93316 and GNZ 11 stun scientists by appearing not just large, but surprisingly evolved suggesting that the early universe was far more efficient at building complex structures than our current models allow. These findings hint that galaxies across the young universe might have had ways to rapidly form stars, organize into disks, and even develop spiral structures much earlier than expected. Instead of being rare oddities, galaxies like Zhulong might represent a hidden population that was simply invisible to older telescopes. Webb's ability to see deep into the infrared has changed the rules, uncovering a cosmos filled with more mature and massive systems than anyone anticipated. Looking forward, astronomers plan to deepen their investigation by studying the chemical compositions, star formation histories, and dark matter environments of these strange galaxies. Webb's NIR spec and the powerful Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array will be key in peeling back the layers of their evolution. But the real excitement lies in the idea that Zhulong is not an isolated anomaly. It's part of a much larger stranger. Thank you for watching and stay curious about the cosmos. We'll see you in the next video.